Uh, so I do have a buyer for that house in Charlotte and um, he filled out the application. Only concern I have on the application, he has money to put down. He has, I told him it's 10% down, which mm -hmm. listing it for 190. I say the sale price is 190. So that's 19,000. He said, well, I got 10,000 now. Can I owe you the other nine in like six months? I said, well, I, I guess I don't see a problem with that. Cause uh, you know, 10,000 is a lot of money. And then the cash flow is 938 is the monthly payment. Uh, the mortgage and thirteen hundred is the uh, agreed upon payment, so that's cash flow three hundred fifty something, six something dollars, which is pretty good. And then um, on the back end, based off what's old on the house, there'd be money on the back end too. So this is yeah. a good deal: There's money on the front yeah. end, in the middle, and on the back end. So, yeah. but my concern about his application is it has his income being like twenty seven hundred dollars a month, and Thirteen hundred is what the payment is going to be, unless that's his only bill. I think he's going to be struggling a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him and ask. You have him to have that conversation with him, Ish. You've got to talk to him and say, I, "Here's my concern," and just lay it out like you just laid it out. Okay, what am I missing? And he may say, "You know what? I bring in three thousand bucks a month cash, you know, from this weekend gig I do, you know, or or something." Right. There's probably another reason, or you know what? I get money from. You know, my uncle, every month. I mean, they may have a reason. Typically, people don't put big money into a property and then default on the payment right away. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, what, if do, he had a, what if he had a roommate? Because yeah. um, I think his dad, yeah. I, I know his dad, it's, it said um, that they lived, he got a roommate, and they was thinking about buying a house together, but I haven't talked to his roommate. Should I put him on the application too? Any, anybody who's an adult, uh, you know, 18 and above should probably be on that thing. At a minimum, you want to be checking them, verifying them. Right. Right. Okay. I'll ask him. Yeah, if that is the case, that he's going to pull a, pull a roommate in there to help pay some of that, then I need him to fill out the application too. That's cool. Yeah. And you just tell him, listen, right. normally I wouldn't, but you don't make enough money to afford the 1300 You need this roommate's whatever, 700 you're charging him um, to make the payment to me. So I've got to put him on this deal. Right. Or you need a guarantor right. or something. Something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just tell him, listen, All make right, me man. comfortable, dude. Yeah. I'm concerned. Exactly. Make me comfortable. It's, it's, you know. Right. I got you. All right. That makes sense. And you okay. can always use the old line of, hey, you know what? I don't think my partners would accept this. You know, tell me what to tell them. I, how do I make them comfortable? If, you're, if right. you're uncomfortable with that kind of dialogue directly with somebody saying, I'm not comfortable, you know, I don't, basically I don't trust you. You can always lay it off right. on your partners. I got partners. Yeah. I got to be able to show them, you know, what yeah. you tell me is that. true. Yeah. Yeah, That's, I do do. I use that a lot. As a matter of fact, you and you and uh, Blair are my partners. I don't say y'all names, but I say wow. my business partner. I got to yep. check with my business partner. That's all you got. That's exactly <laughs> right. It always gives you a second bite at the apple. It gives you a chance to not, if you're worried about making a commitment too soon, you know, you can just say, this is what information I need for my partner. And, you know, that gives you time. <laughs>